Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video, here I am going to show you how to share the same options menus for multiple activities. So we can start with a new Android Studio project. So here the project is created. So first, we are going to remove the default action bar from this application. So go to styles.xml, change the theme into no action bar. Now instead of action bar, we are going to use a toolbar. So create a separate layout file for the toolbar. Now specify the layout attributes for the toolbar. Now specify the background, connect primary, now specify elevation, now specify an ID for the toolbar, finally specify a theme for it. So now the toolbar layout is ready, now we need to add the toolbar to the activity main.xml. So I change the root element into linear layout, now add the toolbar here. Okay, now the toolbar available. Now we are going to set this toolbar as the supported action bar. So create available for the toolbar inside main activity. Now initialize that available. Now set support action bar into toolbar. Okay. So in this project, now I am going to create an additional activity. So create another activity. Uh, I name it as second activity. Now specify the layouts for the second activity. Okay, here also we include the toolbar. Now in order to identify this activity, add a text to view. Now specify the attributes for the text to view. Okay, now <coughs> Set the toolbar for the second activity also. Okay. Now inside activity main.xml, place a button for start the second activity. Specify the on-click method into start second activity. Okay, now implement this method inside main activity. From this method, we can start the second activity. Okay, now we can run the project. So here we have a button available on the main activity started. So here also we have <coughs> same application bar for the two activity. So now we are going to add the options menu for the two activity. We are going to use the same options menu for the two activities. So first here I am going to add the vector assets for the options menu items. Now add another item called the search. Okay, so now we can create the menu resource file. <coughs> so create another Android resource file called the app bar menu. Okay, this is a menu file. Now we can add the menu items. So here specify an additional XML namespace. It is resource auto. Okay, now we can add the menu items, add the first item, specify id for it, now specify the icon, now specify the title, now specify the show as action into if row, that means if there is enough space this method will appear. Now specify another item, <coughs> specify id into action, search. Now specify the drawable resource. Now change title into search. Now add the another item, action settings. Uh, no, I can need that. Change the title into settings. Okay, I change the this one into never. Okay, now the menu file is ready. Now we are going to create a separate activity class for the options menu. I name it as options menu activity and this class extends app compact activity so in this method you have to override only two methods on create options menu and on options item selected method 
okay so from this method we can inflate the menu so create variables for menu inflator now inflate the menu now pass the menu and return true from this method now we can handle the menu click events from this method using a switch case statement now specify each case now create a separate method for display a message to the user so this method need only one parameter message now display the message using a toast okay now we can specify each case statements if it is cast display message to the user cast option selected return true now specify the second case if it is search <coughs> search option selected now specify the final item settings settings option selected now specify the default select option default in that case return the super implementation of the method okay so now the main activity need to extends that particular class called the options menu activity for the second activity also the same thing second activity also extends our own activity class called the options menu activity okay now we can run the project so here for the main activity we have only two we have the two options menu items available the click events also working fine the settings available on the overflow menu now for the second activity also we have the same options menu two menu items here is the settings here also the click events are working fine so in some situation you want to add some additional menu item for an activity now i am going to show you how to add a special item for an activity so we are going to add an additional menu item for the second activity so for that first here i am going to add some vector asset so create a new vector asset going to add a share option okay so now I'm going to create a separate menu resource for the second activity so second activity options menu okay so now we are we can add the menu items so now we can add the menu item <coughs> So here it is action share now change the icon into action i see share now change title into share i change this one into always okay so this is the options menu for the second activity so go to second activity here you have to override the on create options menu now inflate the menu get menu inflator so for inflate the first menu you have to implement the super class implementation of the on create options menu so this will implement the previous menu then it will then we have to inflate the additional item so inflate it and finally return true from this method now we can implement the click listener for the item so add the on options item selected method if it is equal to actions share in that case display a message to the user share option is selected okay return true from this method now implement the default implementation in that case return super implementation of this method okay now run the project So this is the main activity we have only two options three three options menu items available now go to the second activity here we have an additional menu item available called share <coughs> so here also the click events are working and the remaining items available on the overflow menu so this is how we share the same options menu for multiple multiple activities in android i hope you understand the concept